Hello and welcome fellow Spartans to part number three of episode number two of Telltale's Game of Thrones. So thank you very much for all the kind comments and your support for the return of the series. So let's carry it on from where we left it off and I think we're returning back to King's Landing if I'm correct. So let's resume the game and start this off today. This yes we are. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. Yeah, cut to the crap. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Ooh, you little rebel. Uh, yeah. It's an... <laughs> I hope you've got another one of those. Oh, shaky. I never took you for a lush mirror. <sighs> Sadly, it's just the one. Oh, damn. Want to get drunk and get it on. <laughs> oh, God. A little won't hurt. Take it. Go on. Live a little. <sighs> so, I, uh... Come on, get on with it. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Need some Dutch courage. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. Okay. I want to trust you. I swear, I won't tell a soul. <laughs> Liar. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady <gasps> Elena for many years. She became pregnant. Oh my God. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. <laughs> I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But it's always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She took care of my mother. And when I was born, she gave me the name Durwell. My mother died not long after. Right. How did you get this far? I, I mean... I've been very lucky, I suppose. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Well, have you asked her? Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? Simple stuff. I can simply ask for. I need her favour first. I know she often confides in you. Yeah, let me and guess. I've got to do something here. Hoping that maybe... I could tell her. Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... Suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Okay then. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Of course. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Oh, well. Hmm. Tyrell. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Tyrion, sorry, Please. not Tyrell. What are you talking about? <laughs> what have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Can't you join us? It. Oh, damn, it's missed it, we, missed it. Damn. We were just, just airing the wine. Damn it, I was trying to ask him to join us and I think I missed it. Not the finest arbor red, but a favourite of my sister's. 
quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Uh, we found it. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lortarian. Strange it should find its way into a bush. <laughs> if Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't let that you happen. Can't let that happen. No, you can't. Come Why on. Why do you think I brought it up? Come with me. Right. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. Oh yes, that'd be interesting. It might be the first fun I've had in months. Tyrion, all we're playing the game. Love Maybe. it. That'd be interesting. So, God, she's an alcoholic. Look at her. Um, so yeah, of course, yeah, Flowers must be the bastard for, or Flowers must be the name for the bastard. Sal's got no, obviously Snow is the name for the bastard in the north. I don't know what it is We've for the other east and west, but... Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant, like finding gold in your chamber. Well, hello. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Yeah, address me like that. Fatty. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's a private matter, my lord. Ooh, Forrester attitude. has to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andrew. Tell whomever you wish, my lord. It's hmm. no concern of mine. We'll see about that. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Well, that went well. Well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help yeah. me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. Nice. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, He'll have to do so through your family. Or even better. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. No, I don't want that. Try and avoid that one. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Not with you and us. Then that's a risk I'll have to, to take. take. Yeah, absolutely. We'll try and avoid it, though, if we can. I'll consider the arrangement. Come on, you know it's the right choice, Tyrion. 
Don't be a fool, man. You'd have to do something for me in return. Oh, what's that? Don't Go down, you. Yeah? Oh my God. <laughs> Terms will be fair. I need more than that. Yes. Come on. I know what you want me to do. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. Yeah. My lady. Hey, you who's this Casanova? The pressures of family. Oh, we're back. With this renegade. Aids, renegades. I can't remember the place. This name, what is what the name of this place is called? Actually, okay, let's wall down. Step by step, we get closer to the gold. Yeah, so you can sod off. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Oh, yes. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead I them. I can lead an army. <laughs> I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire, and all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. <laughs> nice. Everyone doesn't like us, do they? Jesus. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What's up? What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Hi, hi. Hello. Nice helmets. Ponte Renas. A bit sparta like they are, aren't they? Oh, I like them a lot. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, sod off. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Try again. Oh god, I thought I got in then. I thought I swiped his neck. We'll try once more time. If we, if we can kill the soldier, then we'll. Fine. If we don't, we'll try and stop Beshka next time. Okay, this time, this time, this time. We're gonna kill him, come on. 
Bang! This time we did it. Thank you! Nice. Let's go. You're quick. I'll give you that. But you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsey Snow and cave his bloody head in. You two can talk about it later. We yeah. need to get out of here. I'd love to cave Rob Ramsey Snow's head in. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. More like are you ready, mate? Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Let's hope we do. You goes there. Hey, up! Something's happened here. Doors ajar. Hoises, noises, hoises, noises heard. Go on, have a peek in. You know you want to. Hey, up! Something on the bed there. Peek, have a peek. Okay. Just a note and then the broken glass here, not good. Right. Uh, call out. Hello. Okay, we'll open up quietly then now. Oh. A crisis because of my forged letter. Christ, let's go to the bed, come on. I should also go to the, the, uh, the desk first. The letters from my family. Oh Christ. What would someone want with them? Oh no 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 My best vase Thank God. Why would someone do this? It's a fake Guess have a look at this little letter then. Come on, read it. We know we want to see what's in it. Come on. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Oh, well, nice. Bring a friend. It's getting quite interesting, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? There. <coughs> that should last through Lady Elena's Back to Iron Mouth. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, <laughs> if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... Of course I'm a man! ...stepping in question of... Of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. Just remember that you'll want to see gentleness in you too. So I said Channel Teddy is that? Jesus. <laughs> but this is an important day for all of us. Just calm down, Mum. Let me handle this, Mother. You're right. I'm sorry. My Lord, she's here. She better be good looking. Don't have any old any old Tom Dick in a hurry. Roderick? Oh yeah, she'll sure, she'll do. She'll do. She'll do. Well yeah, she will do. You look You're really I know, <laughs> I'm unspeakably handsome. <laughs> I see you haven't lost your sense of humour. Oh, what are you trying to say? I was being serious. Just two limbs and half a face. 
please. Take a seat. Sit your fine ass down. So, here we are. Yeah, go on. Charmer. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I'm getting better. Come on. Cry, I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You're always in behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. Oh, no. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. Yeah, I know, I know. They seemed angry. Violent. They said some terrible things. Didn't try and rape me, did they? Hills are your oldest enemies, Good God. Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Trust me. They won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. Defiance. Don't doubt me, Elena. Just trust me. I know what I'm doing, love. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... Don't you dare. My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrayal. No, don't. And I was inclined to agree with him. Until I received a curious letter from Marjorie Tyrell. Oh. What did it say? Lady Marjorie suggests in the kindest of terms that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Nice one, Mira. Getting the old influence across. Do you know why Lady Marjorie would send this to me? Mira. She and I have never corresponded. House Forrester still has many powerful allies. Good answer. Including the Tyrells, apparently. I don't know what favours you had to call in, but I feel manipulated, Roderick. And what are you House talking about? I can't refuse a suggestion from Marjorie Tyrell. I'm being forced to marry you, Roderick. Is that truly what oh, you want? You don't force. Do do to me. After everything we've shared. No. Of course not, Elena. You're free to choose. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Good answer. I was afraid you'd refuse to back down, but you must care about me more than that. Of course I do. Let us stand together, Roderick. I will tell my father. Yes. How the stands. <laughs> ha -ha. Apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but <laughs> oh, his book is a back again. You have no right to just. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact, and we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. Get out Get it. now! How rude of you! Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Ryan attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to Quite intimidate him, Tyler and brother. If you vote Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. Griff. But now I hear you're ordering them around and refusing to feed them. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Go on, do it. Fuck your soldiers. <laughs> Fuck you. Too. Roderick, please. See? 
That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. You gotta be defiant against this bugger. The idea. You can't stand up. You can't let him win you over. Start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven, but you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shine. Bugger off. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Oh, go on then. It needs must. For the greater good. Subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsey do that. Snow I said. know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. <sighs> you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Who will stop you? We will not stand for this. What are you going to do? Bludgeon me with a walking stick. <laughs> Besides, you just swore an oath to obey that me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. What an absolute bugger. I couldn't really refuse to kiss it. Ooh, by the way, that would have been a real bad my thing. Men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruin. Oh, you're Isn't a funny kid. Oh, yeah. Not as clever as you are. We'll be fine soon. We shall I win this battle. You would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe I'd have done the same. I had to do it for that. Look beyond the situation, think of the greater the greater picture basically. My lord. Are you well? Stupid questions that This fight isn't over. Exactly. Not even close. Boom. Is that the end of the episode? It's not, but I'm going to save it here, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll wrap up part three right there. And a little bit of a cliffhanger. We'll be back with part four very soon. We'll be returning to Castle Black, by the looks of things. So I hope you enjoyed part number three. And I think at the end, as I say, I had to give in. And be the better man by doing that. I think, obviously, thinking about the, the greater picture, thinking of the family, etc. I needed to do that. My time, my fight will come with him, as uh, we said at the end there. But um, not then. That wasn't the right time. So I think kissing the ring was the the better option to do. But anyway, guys, as I say, if you enjoyed it, if you have, please do drop this video a like. And I shall be back with part four uh, very soon. But until then... This is Warrior Spider for now, saying farewell!